Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyS3Root.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of the AOKP uh, MR1 build for on all of the three Galaxy S3s. Also available for the Skyrocket. I'll have links to the ROMs. Now the Skyrocket version and the AT&T version, uh, these are ported versions. And uh, for the AT&T version, I actually had to uh, install another kernel to make it work. Uh, let me show you here. And if you have the AT&T version, uh, make sure you install the uh, AJK kernel. I highly recommend it. Uh, without installing that kernel, camcorder will not work and uh, Wi-Fi tethering will not work. But if you install, install that kernel, it will work just fine. And one bug I found with the camcorder on the AT&T version, it works just fine. Um, sometimes the auto uh, focus can get a little iffy. As you can see here, it's not really auto focusing here um, versus these two here the T-Mobile version and the the uh, International Galaxy S2 GTI 9100 version uh, both have um, autofocus working perfect so let me show you that real quick so I'm start recording and uh, if I hold it for a little bit you'll see that it does kind of um, does kind of uh, autofocus there there you go I don't know if the if the camera's catching it there you go uh, and also let me show you here it should there you go you see that so um, that autofocus on the official versions it is working just fine and uh, let me just grab one of these they're all the same um, but let me grab the T-Mobile version and let me kind of walk actually you know what let me grab the international version uh, because I've got the Wi-Fi set up here let me just kind of walk you through here um, kind of the ROM control settings, uh, everything. In case you you know don't know how to use AOKP, you've never used it, uh, first thing you want to do is go to general UI. Um, you can set like custom carrier label if you want. Um, let's say high on Android if you want. Uh, high on Android there. And this will set uh, your carrier label um, when you see the lock screen instead of AT&T or whatever your carrier you're using it'll set whatever you set uh, which is kind of cool you can put you know some jokes and stuff um, also show notification count this will show the no number of notifications uh, your Gmail uh, your Facebook Play Store updates uh, all of that it will show up there um, that way you know you have new email and stuff and also uh, I, I recommend hardware back to kill kill all button recent RAM bar now these will I'll show up here so you can see the RAM bar, just, just like a TouchWiz ROM, and also kill all um, apps that's running, so I'll have to have to go back here. Um, that's kind of the general UI, my recommendations, um, some of the cool things about it, and also lock screen. Um, here I do recommend, uh, if you want music controls, um, be able to skip music and stuff when your phone's off. Uh, using the volume controls, make sure you enable those. Allow lock screen rotation, that's great, uh, so you can you know, rotate your lock screen and uh, unlock it that way. Um, so that's very nice, and also allow all widgets and unlimited widgets. If you tend to use a lot of widgets, uh, the Android 4.2.2 widgets here, uh, enabling that will allow you to download any widgets apps on the Play Store, and they'll show up here, uh, which normally will not show up on uh, Android 4.2.2 ROM. Next up, uh, we got the battery. Um, I do like the uh, circle mod, and that will change it into a percentage with the circle. I think that's one of the most efficient ways to um, tell your battery status. Uh, so that's what I like, and uh, let me see. Um, I mean, you can do charging animation. That's probably going to just take up um, your battery, so I don't really recommend that. Uh, clock style, you can change it here. A um, bunch of different, you can do center clock if you want to. There you go. Um, so it's kind of uh, spaced out if you want to, you don't have to. And also signal, uh, if you want to get a little bit more scientific, um, you can do it with text. Signal star style, uh, show with dBm the decibels per meter, I think. Um, so you can try that. And uh, let's go to the next one. Status bar toggles here. Now with Android 4.2.2, if you use one finger, you will see the notifications. You can hit that button to get rid of it. And also if you use two fingers, um, you will see your shortcuts here. But how do you customize this? Uh, with AOKP, um, you can also add more toggles here. Let's say I wanted to add GPS, uh, clock, uh, silent, vibrate, swagger. By the way, swagger doesn't do anything. Uh, let's just enable all of these. 
and what will happen is you'll see all of these uh, toggles show up here. Now let's say I want the swagger button first. Um, go to toggle order here and go all the way down, um, find the swagger and just drag that little bar thing way up to the top if you want to. And uh, that will pretty much put the swagger button at the top here. It actually doesn't do anything. It, it's just to like, you know, um, throw you off the ROM developers. They are funny. <laughs> anyway, um, also this is great. Instead of using two fingers, sometimes I have my nails grow. Actually, I have to cut my nails, but I couldn't find my nail cutter. Um, it's Sometimes it's hard for me to use two fingers. This one allows you to use one finger, so you can go to the right. Um, so you can quickly access your status toggles. So that's pretty much it. Sound, vibration, um, you can mess with those. And also if you do install an overclockable kernel, you'll be able to overclock it here. Make sure you hit grant there. And uh, right now, uh, most of these uh, ROMs don't come with an overclock kernel, but do make sure you install a kernel that's compatible with the latest AOSP Android 4.2.2 as most of the Android 4.2.1 kernels will not work with Android 4.2.2. I'm um, just show, just make sure of that. Um, otherwise, these are all pretty much the same. Uh, one note also, Google search might not be working. Um, no worries. Just go to the Play Store and type uh, Google um, search. And this will allow you to get the uh, Google search working. Just the latest Google apps um, that you use with these custom ROMs are broken with the Google search. But once you install it, it'll start working right away. And also, if you want themes, you can go ahead and search uh, AOKP themes. Um, let's say you want to get, uh, let's say, Cobalt theme there. Uh, let's try to get some other color. Let's say, ooh, I've got to pay. These are actually in bot, not dollars, because I'm in Thailand. So it's showing up uh, the dollars there. Um, let's let's try just any of these random themes here. Uh, let's try Cobalt, CM9, CM10. Any of the AOKP, CM9, CM10, um, you know, AOKP, you know, themes on the Play Store should be compatible. At the worst, it'll just not work. Um, so you can get all of these themes, and if you go to XDA and search for AOKP themes, or just go to Google, you should be able to find uh, plenty. Let me go ahead and download also this Jade. I'm kind of cool. So you can get uh, themes here, go to system settings. Uh, once those are installed, you should be able to have an option to install it here. Uh, it's actually still installing. Oh, there we go. So there we go. Let's try the cobalt here, see if it, this will work. Apply anyways. Um, some of it might not be compatible as this is the latest Android 4.2.2. But it should still work. You shouldn't have too, um, too big of a problem. It's just the theme. Um, so there you go. So I've got a completely new theme, and uh, you know that way you can customize it. Anyway, um, try it for your T-Mobile, uh, AT&T, or International GTI 9100, and also available for the Skyrocket uh, when you install this ROM. Go ahead and reboot into recovery. Uh, once reboot into recovery, do data wipe factory reset um, if you're not coming from a previous version of AOKP. Most likely need it, and also do make a backup ROM and also make a backup of your apps using Titanium Backup before you try to installing it. Um, that way you can restore all of your apps back when you uh, install the new ROM. And also if something goes wrong, you can always go back to the previous ROM you had. Uh, but uh, it should be pretty good in the, the latest Android AOKP ROM here. This is like the best of the latest. Ooh, that theme's kind of nice, I like it. Um, so it's gonna, you know, it's it's pretty stable, very stable, more stable than ever, and I think you'll like it. Um, but uh, this will give you pure Android 4.2.2 experience, uh, plus all those customizations. I mean, this is, you know, the best of Android, um, that you can get all of this stuff uh, beyond just Google's OS. Anyway, check it out for this week's ROM of the Week, uh, available for all the Galaxy S2s. Um, these are official ones, the GTI 9100, T-Mobile, the AT&T version, and the Skyrocket are ported, so you may have a little bit more bugs, uh, but pretty good in my testings uh, with um, the additional kernel. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there, 
And don't forget to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And if you have Galaxy S2, any of the Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst2root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Rumble Week tips, sacks, and more. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm still in Thailand. And uh, stay high on Android. Yo.